The federal government has been uh, urged to upgrade its cryptocurrency regulatory guidelines as they are not consistent with current realities. Justice Akadoye spoke with top leader of uh, PLCU Africa, Dr. Favor Sinano, who gave this advice at the 2022 Explosion Conference and why Nigerians are obsessed about cryptocurrency. Details in this report. In May this year, Nigeria's capital market regulatory body issued new laws governing the issuance, exchange, and custody of digital assets in the country. This came over a year after the Central Bank of Nigeria banned cryptocurrency transactions by commercial banks. However, reports say Nigeria tops world countries in obsession with cryptocurrency. As a local currency weakens, Nigerians have turned to digital assets as alternatives. So much so they have converged on this conference to get clarity and better guidance for trading. So it's very, very vital for you to start aiming in digital currency which can be transferred into local currencies of any country, anywhere you are around the world. So with my PSUX, I get a farm, then I get a farm license, then I get the coins, I put them in the farm, and every 30 days I can earn up to 60% every 30 days. For you to join into the crypto world, you need to understand the markets. And um, from my upline, um, traders, that's crypto traders, are liable to die of heart palpitation because of the fluctuation in the market. And the crypto market is very, very volatile. It's very, very risky if you don't have a mentor that will guide you through this path. With recent developments, these enthusiasts are speaking in unison about how digital assets have impacted on the youth positively and why they are undeterred. Wow. In the next five years, Nigeria, because right now we are top three in the world that are trading cryptocurrency. Now, in the next five years, we are going to be uh, not only top three, might, might become the first country that is going to trade cryptocurrency more than every other country. The fact that it's a shortcut for people to make money. The economy at the moment is not growing. There are a lot of unemployed youth out there. So with cryptocurrency, you can be in your house and you are making your money. You don't, you don't, you no longer need to depend on people who are living abroad. When anybody that wants to do now, they should, he or she should come in fast. You should come in fast and buy any package in PSCU. When you buy your package, make sure you fill your farm. When you fill your farm and start minting, when you start minting, you can also get your own representative, your capital, in one month. Favor Sunano shares insight on issues of regulations, the digital assets market, and the free fall of the Naira. Young people need jobs, but I mean, there are no, job, no jobs right now. But with your smartphone, if you have a smartphone, you can start trading on Binance, for example. You can buy coin this morning and sell in the evening. If you sell properly, you can make a profit and you can compound over time. But they, I believe the government and the, and the regulators can provide a neighborly environment where people, where we can cut any form of Ponzi programs that can make people lose money. You know, and I don't forget that innovators, I mean, um, uh, regulators are only after innovation. Innovation is always ahead. Regulators are always behind. So the regulators need to work faster. Nigeria has a high poverty rate and the local currency the Naira has been experiencing something similar to hyperinflation. In all, experts say the blockchain technology serves as a better hedge for financial value, which has indeed made several Nigerians turn to digital assets. Justin Akadoni, Plus TV News, Lagos.